Senior Jalen Mason is back on the basketball floor after missing all of last season. She injured her foot before playing a single game. Coach Neighbors says her decision to sit out was in a way very prophetic. It was really tough. I wanted to be out there with them so bad, especially because I knew where we could and where we were going to go. But, you know, I was there on the side cheering. And I was always going to do that for them. I think what made it so hard is that we had kind of you know, the year before when I played, we went to the NIT tournament. So we were going off of like a really good run, finally figuring, you know, each other out, who our team identity was. And then I got hurt and I was so excited. I've been practicing and training during the summer. And then it was like the first week of official practice, I got hurt. So then Jalen had a decision to make, take a couple of shots and try to come back slowly off the injury or have surgery, which would end her season. I decided at that point, you know, I wanna do some things after college, so I might as well get my foot right while I have the chance to. All I ever told her was I'm in your corner. You know, you're talking about a kid who stayed with us when everybody else jumped ship. So I wasn't about to influence her one way or the other. I said, I, I trust you, I will support you whichever way you wanna go with it. Anybody that knows Jalen knows she's a, a, deep, a deep roller. She's a thinker. And, you know, I know when she ran it through all the filters of what she was wanting to do legacy wise here and, and professionally in life after the best thing for her to do is exactly what she did. And she almost looks like she had a crystal ball now. <laughs> you know, it's almost like she saw that this was all and um, it, but she's that she's that kid. You know, she's that kid that makes great decisions on the court. And I think she made another one, a great decision off the court. She's now one of seven seniors on a team looking to get Arkansas back in the big dance. Her experience over the years will be called upon to lead during this unpredictable year. It's a really weird season. Everything's a little awkward. We're adapting. And I think that she's been that calming source for a lot of us. It's just come in each day, realize where we were, realize where we're going, and let's get better today. And I feel like Jalen can always kind of hold us down and be like, we got this, let's go. I think being a fifth year, I kind of have seen a little bit of everything over the past four years. So I feel like my experience helps in being able to, you know, kind of calm myself and our team down and just saying we got to go with the flow right now. It's not going to be as cookie cutter as the years were before, but, you know, we're just going to have fun and go along with it as it comes. Up, dribbles on Daniels, kicks out Mason's three. Yes! Jalen Mason makes it a two possession game. Jalen does admit she's allowing herself to look into the future just a little bit. After missing out of the NCAA tournament experience last year, she's eager to see everything she's poured into this program pay off. I usually try to take every game as it comes, you know, one at a time and prepare for that. But I think with it being taken away last year and me not playing, I have, you know, I'm very excited. I haven't been to the NCAA tournament yet. That would have been my first time. This year, I think I'm looking a little more into the future than just, you know, one game at a time. So I'm excited and I can see our team being there and being extremely successful. Aside from leading this basketball team the last five years, Jalen has also led off the court. She's been very involved with SAC and the SEC Women's Basketball Leadership Council. Well done, Jalen.